ये रोक लें ये वाली रोके इधर लाइन बन रहे ग्रुप फोटो कर लें जी फिर हम आगाज करें जी जी अच्छा जी थैंक यू वेरी मच जी फिर आपने देखा ये जंगल में मंगल जो है अच्छा माशा खरीद से उसके बाद सर यहाँ पे एक करेंगे। जी जी जी। ओके, दिस इज अहमद यूसुफ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर फॉर दिस प्लान अच्छा मेट्रो साइड अच्छा वेलकम टू अवर प्रोजेक्ट सर माय प्लेजर जी दिस इज सिक्सटी मेगा वर्ट मेट्रो विंड पावर प्रोजेक्ट वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट प्रोजेक्ट इन द विंड विद सिंगल एंटिटी एवरी अदर प्रोजेक्ट एट दैज थर्टी मेगा वाट और फिफ्टी मेगा वाट This अच्छा. is the first project that has 60 megawatt in one single capacity. Right. So you are into the Metro Wind Power Limited. This is our AI substation to towards that side. We have two transformers, and this is our all gantry structure. जी सर जी सर बहुत आगे जनाब विल गो टू दोजेक्ट लेआउट राइट जी सर दिस इज द कैपेसिटर बैंक सर राइट फॉर द वोल्टेज रेगुलेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द नेपर यू नो गाइडलाइन टू कीप योर वोल्टेज इन द सेफ लिमिट्स इन द सेफ टेक्निकल स्पेसिफिकेशन राइट सर आई वुड टेक आइए जी आइए यहाँ बताइए क्या सर सर करेंटली वी आर इन टू द मेट्रो विंड पावर प्रोजेक्ट सो करेंटली वी आर हेयर ठीक है सो यू केम फ्रॉम दैट साइड बेसिकली This is our turbine number first, two, three, like that. We have 30 turbines here. We are into the center, 15 turbines downside, 15 turbines upside. Right. Total 30 turbines, 22 uh, megawatt each, and it becomes 60 megawatt. So welcome to the metro. This is our overall, you know, layout from Nuri Bar to the access road, and this is the metro strip. So it is around nine kilometer long strip and 200 uh, meter wide. It's a layout. Right. So this is the Gulen Mat. Please, please give us space. Thank you. सर सर सो दिस इज अवर प्रोजेक्ट यू कैन सी फ्रॉम दैट साइड इज गुल एफन प्रोजेक्ट सो गुल अहमद इज द फिफ्टी मेगा वाट गोविंद टेक्नोलॉजी इट हैज ट्वेंटी ट्रवाइंस इन टू द सेंटर वी हैव सब स्टेशन टेन ट्रवाइंस डाउन साइड एंड टेन ट्रवाइंस अप साइड सो दैट इज अवर सेकेंड प्रोजेक्ट दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी यू नो इन कमीशन एंड इट इज सक्सेसफुली इन टू द सर्विस सिक्सटी प्लस फिफ्टी यस यस कैपेसिटी फैक्टर का सर इट इज समथिंग एज कैपेसिटी फैक्टर इज यू नो अराउंड करेंटली वी आर एक्चिविंग फिफ्टी प्लस फिफ्टी फाइव फोर बट टेक्निकली वी कैन गो अराउंड थर्टी एट मिनिमम सो विंड पावर प्लांट थर्टी एट पे थर्टी एट यस करेंटली थर्टी एट इज द मिनिमम स्टैंडर्ड दैट वी हैव टू अचीव बट एज ऑफ नो इट्स फिफ्टी यस सर प्लीज दे आर रेडी जब आप कहेंगे हम आप कर देंगे रेडी है जी बिस्मिल्लाह रहमान रहीम बिस्मिल्लाह रहमान रहीम जी दुआ मैं ही करा देता हूं जी अच्छा ये काम भी मैंने अब आजकल बिस्मिल्लाह रहमान रहीम जी अल्लाह ताला से दुआ है कि पाकिस्तान को आगे लेकर जाने का और पाकिस्तान की मिट्टी को संवारने का ये मंसूबा जिसका आज अफ्त हुआ है दो मंसूबे जिनका अफ्त हुआ है ये पाकिस्तान की 
मिट्टी का समर है और हमारा फ़र्ज़ है इसका एक हिस्सा आज अदा हुआ है अल्लाह ताला इन मंसूबों को कामयाब करें आमीन और इनके साथ रहने वालों की ज़िंदगी में बेहतरियाँ लेकर आए आमीन हमारे प्यारे सूबा सिंध की तरक्की और खुशहाली का बायस बने आमीन और सबसे अहम बात यह है कि पूरे पाकिस्तान के लिए वो तोानाई जो कि सब्ज़ है जो काबिल तजदीद है ग्रीन क्लीन एंड रीन्यूएबल एनर्जी ये पैदा कर रहा है मंसूबा तो इस ये कामयाबी से चले उसके बाद और भी नए मंसूबे लगें ताकि पाकिस्तान में रहने वालों के लिए खुशहाली और तरक्की का बायस बने आमीन आमीन पाकिस्तान पाकिस्तान जी जनाब Who so, will explain to us what's on the screen? Yes. So this is the SCADA system. We have two SCADA here. One okay. SCADA is the EEP of electrical BOP SCADA. That right. is from the Siemens. Okay. And other we have the turbine SCADA. That is also from Siemens. Right. Siemens Gamesa. And these two SCADA screens for the turbine. The the the, the turbine that are making the electricity. Okay. And these systems are monitoring the entire electrical transformer, circulation, whatever. I I I so this system is virtually connected to the uh, NPCC the Islamabad control center and we can have the direct online communication with them real time communication with them our entire parameters our entire single one click is going to there they are being right. currently monitored by the NPCC whatever we are doing whatever we are recording they are being monitored on the daily basis every single minute right so Siemens Carta and Siemens Carta this makes the brain and heart of the substation and all plan ये बताइए ना जी कि इस वक्त आप कितनी बिजली पैदा कर रहे हैं सर करंटली वी आर मेकिंग द दिस इज करंटली एज ऑफ दिस मिनट स्पीड दिस इज द 5.7 मीटर पर सेकंड वी आर मेकिंग 9.7 किलोवाट सॉरी 9000 किलोवाट इट्स अ 9 9.9 मेगावाट करंटली वी आर मेकिंग द स्पॉट वेल द कैपेसिटी इज 60 मेगावाट देयर वर सम इंस्टेंसेस व्हेन वी गॉट द हाई विंड स्पीड अराउंड 10 और 9 सो वी कुड इस वक्त ये तो मीडिया की समझ के लिए कि इस वक्त क्योंकि हवा कम है सर इस वक्त आप 10 मेगावाट पर तकरीबन 10 कर रहे हैं यहां पे सब स्पॉट वैल्यू आ रही है 9.2 मेगावाट एक्चुअली सो दिस शोस दैट आवर ओवर सिस्टम ग्राफ्स एवरी पैरामीटर इज बीइंग मॉनिटर वेरी एफिशिएंटली बाय द ऑपरेटर्स हियर एंड वी आर प्रोडक्ट हैम दिस इज हेड ऑफ चैनल बेसिकली एंड सी वी आर इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट This is our screen. We can see the, you know, CCTV cameras, our turbines, our every assets are being, you know, in the in the direct control and in the direct, you know, custody of the operators. Right. So visual monitoring, we are doing. Sir, absolutely. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank कंपनी के साथ ग्रुप फोटो है उसके बाद फिर जाएंगे लेने तो भी जैसे पाँच लेने उससे ज़्यादा अच्छा रुकने आ जाएगा आपको रोका हुआ रोका हुआ थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू आइए सेफ टीम एंड दे आर स्पोर्टिंग एंड इन दिस प्रोग्राम एज एग्जिबिट राइट थैंक यू वेरी मच इंजीनियरिंग क्या करती है सर ये हमने एक्चुअली इंस्टॉलेशन इस पावर प्रोजेक्ट हमने की है इसके अलावा ऑपरेशन मेंटेनेंस भी हम बैठ के करते हैं इसके अलावा हम आर एल प्लांट भी ऑपरेशन मेंटेनेंस कर रहे हैं और नंदीपुर भी इनडायरेक्टली हम ही ऑपरेशन मेंटेनेंस कर रहे हैं अच्छा तो हमारा पाकिस्तान के अंदर 
no other company Hindipur as, as you will know is about uh, yeah, yeah, I, I few kilometers there. from my house yeah, yes, yes. I, I, I was there when uh, we have taken it uh, from first uh, right. for the operation yes. 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 Is, is gentleman ne hamara is project pe kaam yeah, yes. Achha, yes. Very yes. Very yes. Very yes. very installation 3 mahine tak din raat kar raha tha chal nahi it's very valuable experience jo jo epc contractor hain bin projects ke acha aur aur on and operator bhi hain bin projects ke humne do projects 50 megawatt ke complete kiye hain 100 megawatt और इस प्रोजेक्ट में जो हमारी पार्टिसिपेशन है हमने इलेक्शन सुपरविजन टेस्टिंग एंड कमीशनिंग जो है 410 मेगावाट की की है अच्छा इसमें मेट्रो भी है और बाकी जो प्रोजेक्ट्स यहाँ पे हैं गुल अहमद में हमने जो है इलेक्ट्रिकल इंस्टॉलेशन सब स्टेशन की राइट जी तो ये सब कॉन्ट्रैक्टर जो सारा काम करते जी जी वट डज गोल्ड विन डू दी So Goldwind is uh, a wind turbine manufacturer uh, based in Beijing, mm-hmm. and uh, we have the 47, uh, 47 megawatt of capacity installed in Pakistan till now. Mm-hmm. We have seven projects in total. So Goldwind is one of them. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. How many turbines do you have? 218 turbines. 218 till now in Pakistan. Right. Yeah. They've been there since 2000. How is the race between Goldwind and Siemens? Uh, I'd like to introduce the head table uh, to you first. So starting on my right, we have uh, we have Mr. Shah Jahan Mirza, CEO of ADB. All right. Next to Mr. Shah Jahan, we have Ms. Sara Muni, British Deputy High Commissioner and Trade Commissioner of Pakistan. Sara. Uh, next to Sara, we have uh, His Excellency. Uh, Honorable Minister Engineer Khurram Dastagir, uh, Federal Minister of Energy, and next to uh, the minister we have uh, Mr. Danish Iqbal, who is the Chairman Golamad and Metro Energy Group of Companies, and next to Mr. Danish we have uh, NTDC uh, Managing Director uh, Dr. Rana Abdul Jabbar Khan, and Rana Sab ke saath we have. Uh, a local celebrity jam shoro ke mna sahab hain khail das sahab i'd like to call upon our sponsors because we had some seats reserved for them can i please call jack and umar from goldwin to take a seat here jack and umar please thank you uh, for those of you who saw their exhibition goldwin is the second largest turbine uh, supply manufacturer in the world second largest and i think siemens is the first right and they have a range of technical solutions so please take a seat uh, we have orient uh, as our uh, partner here today also can i request mr kashif kazmi mr kashif kazmi from orient to take a seat here uh, orient is a epc contractor and onm operator uh we have siemens gamisa who are turbine uh, partners mr maruf has uh, i don't see him here so he's not going to be here 
Then we have Abacus, our implementation partners for SAP. Can I request uh, Pemina Aslam to take a seat here or send one of her colleagues? Okay, Pemina, thank you. And finally, we have uh, Albario as uh, they are o &M operators. Can I request Mr. Abdul Manan to please take a seat here? And ladies and gentlemen, while they're walking, can you give them a big round of applause because they have supported this event and they have worked very diligently with uh, Gulamad and Metro in their projects. So they are our, uh, you know, very good partners. I'm sorry, there's no step there. So All right, so uh, we begin the proceedings by, uh, I will invite uh, Mr. Danish Iqbal to give the welcome address. We are slightly late in the agenda, but we'll try and catch up. Mr. Danish. Okay, so I'm the uh, Honorable Federal Minister Energy Khan. Excellency Ms. Sara Moon, British D Deputy High Commissioner, Managing Director NTDC, Dr. Rana Abdul Jabbar, CEO ADB Shahjah Mirza, distinguished guests, Salaam Alaikum. So, the colossal, well, we will go with a very short speech, but the idea of having this event was to inform the world that we, in Pakistan, there's a lot of energy available at a cheap and reliable way, and the one way it is, is wind, solar, biomass, hydro, which is, which is the way forward. And we have a shortage of six to 8,000 megawatts every year which we can convert and this is the way forward because it replaces the imported fuel concept. Gulamad and Metro group of companies aim to play its part by exploiting clean energy for development of the nation. Our first step in the power generation sector was the inauguration of 50 megawatt wind project in Jampi. After massive success of this venture, we locked sites on Metro Wind Power, which of course was a contribution to the wind sector. Soon enough, we also planned to announce Metro Solar, among the various other clean energy projects. A month after establishment of Metro Power, another offshore 50 megawatt wind project was inaugurated called Gulamad Wind Power. Both these projects individually generate 150 megawatt hours, 150,000 megawatt hours, therefore offsetting 60,000 tons of carbon emissions per year. By synergizing these efforts, Pakistan not only had two abundant sources of renewable energy, but they're also able to reduce the insecurity on fuel imports. This initiative was put into effect to promote business growth and reliable power while also boost boosting household incomes. In turn, these projects will enough attraction to attract new private investors to the country's emerging renewable sector. Through our pioneer efforts, we have successfully managed to add 260 megawatts of wind to the national grid. The ripple effect was that the reduction and replacement of oil imports was simultaneously creating employment opportunities in rural areas. Metro Wind Power, which is today's inauguration, manages to power 80,000 homes per year with clean energy, therefore offsetting 113,000 CO2 emissions per year. And Gulamad Electric will also power over 60,000 per year while offsetting 94,000 CO2 per year. So besides all this materializing, well, what we have is to understand, we also plan using these initiatives to educate the general public regarding commercial and environmental benefits of green energy. It won't be long before our nation will have the determined political will to establish a complete energy independence and higher share of renewable energy circulating the grid. For this reason, our country needs to expedite competitive bidding on bankable tariffs which also includes foreign components as 70% of the equipment required will have to be imported. We want to lead the winds of change vision of 2030 to fulfill, to fulfill our purpose. We harness renewable energy while maintaining the highest standards of quality, safety and environmental sustainability with unwavering commitment to all our stakeholders. So please um, give a big hand to the to the distinguished guests who are here to promote this, and I hope we can we can get this today. So I think uh, MC Saab. 
Thank you, Danish. Uh, now it's my pleasure to uh, invite uh, Honorable Minister Engineer Khuram Dasagir for his uh, keynote address. Please welcome the Minister. Thank you. Auzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mr. Danish Iqbal, who is the distinguished chairman of uh, Gulamad Energy Group and Metro Group of Companies, uh, delighted to have uh, Her Excellency Ms. Uh, Sarah Mooney, who is the Deputy High Commissioner uh, in Karachi. Um, we are joined by my distinguished colleague, uh, Mr. Kheel Das Kohistani, who is a member of National Assembly. Um, the Managing Director of National Transmission and Dispatch Company. That's what NTDC means. Um, Mr. Dr. Rana Abdul Jabbar, the Chief Executive Officer of uh, Alternative Energy Development Board, uh, Mr. Shah Jahan Mirza. Uh, I see in the audience the Chief Executive Officer of uh, Hyderabad Electric Supply Company, Mr. Soho. Uh, he's also here. Um, and uh, I'm honored uh, that. Uh, our elders have joined us, uh, the members of the media. Mohtaram Khawateen Hazrat, Assalamu Alaikum. It is a tremendous pleasure and uh, a heartening experience for me and to inaugurate uh, the 60 megawatt Metro Wind Power and the 50 megawatt Gulamad Electric uh, Limited. Uh, both have now uh, commenced commercial operations uh, this summer. Uh, and today is the formal inauguration. Mohtaram Khawateen Ozaad, when I was here, I was here in this road, my heart started to be happy and happy. When I was on every mode, I had new wind turbines in front of me. And it was like this, کہ سندھ کی کے اس کوریڈور میں مجھے اور آپ کو پاکستان کا مستقبل نظر آنا چاہیے This is our future ladies and gentlemen we talking about کہ ہمیں یہاں کہا گیا کہ جی پاکستان میں بجلی کی کمی ہے بجلی کی کمی نہیں ہے سستی بجلی کی کمی ہے صاف سبز اور قابل تجدید کلین گرین اور رینیوبل انرجی کی کمی ہے ہمارے پاس ابھی بھی بہت پرانے ایسے پلانٹ موجود ہیں جو ڈیزل پر چلتے ہیں فرنس آئل پر چلتے ہیں اور ہم انہیں امرجنسی میں چلاتے بھی ہیں لیکن اکیسویں صدی کے پاکستان میں ان کی جگہ نہیں ہے وہ کوئی انتہائی ہمیں جب ضرورت پڑتی ہے موسم گرما کے انتہا پہ تو پھر ہمیں وہ چلانے پڑتے ہیں تو ہمیں تو ایک سمت کا تائین جو شہباز شریف کی حکومت نے کر دیا ہے اور مجھے بڑی خوشی ہے کہ آج یہ جو میٹرو ونڈ پاور کا اور گل احمد کا ہم نے آج فتا کیا ہے وہ اس ویجن کا حصہ ہیں اور وہ ویجن کیا ہے وہ ویجن یہ ہے کہ پاکستان میں بجلی بنانے کی نئی صلاحیت بیرون ملک سے امپورٹڈ ایندن پر نہیں ہوگی اور اب انشاءاللہ بجلی بنانے کی ہر نیا میگا وارٹ وہ پاکستان کے جو اندرونی ذرائع ہیں ہمارے جو داخلی وسائل ہیں ان کو استعمال کر کے بنے گی اور وہ داخلی وسائل جو ہیں وہ ہیں کہ ہمیں ہوا آپ غور کیجئے کہ وہ ہوا جو اس ٹینٹ کو ہلا رہی ہے وہ آپ کے پیچھے دس میگا وارٹ بجلی بھی بنا رہی ہے تو یہ ہماری مٹی کا سمر ہے تو ہوا پانی ابھی چند دن پہلے میں یہاں سے بہت دور ملک شمال میں 
सुखी किनारी गया हुआ था जो नारान के करीब है वहां भी आठ मेगावाट का पानी से चलने वाला इन शनसूबा जो है वो जेर तमीर है और हमें ये उम्मीद है कि अगले साल के आखिर में या 2024 के आगाज में वो भी काम शुरू तो पानी हमारा बहुत बड़ा मेन स्टे है आ, हमारे पुराने डैम भी हैं इन नए डैम भी बनेंगे आ, और फिर जो हमने बहुत बड़ा एक कदम उठाया है आ, वो है कि सूरत से बनने वाली बिजली जो सोलर इनिशिएटिव है दस हज़ार मेगावाट का इन अगले जो महीना कल से शुरू हो रहा है उसमें उसका भी पहला कदम हम उठा लेंगे और इन उसका जो बिडिंग पेपर्स हैं वो रिलीज हो जाएंगे और उसके बाद हमारे पास अल्लाह ताला के करम से इसी सूबा सिंध में हमें अल्लाह ताला ने बहुत बड़ी एक दौलत से नवाजा है जो थर कोल है उसका भी जदीद तरीन टेक्नोलॉजी के ज़रिए उसका इस्तेमाल कि वो कम से कम हमारे माहौल को ख़राब करे और उसको इस्तेमाल करते हुए हम आने वाले सालों में पाकिस्तान की जो बिजली की ज़रूरियात हैं वो पूरी कर सके और फिर इसी यहाँ से ज़्यादा दूर नहीं है इस शहर कराची में जो के टू के थ्री के न्यूक्लियर प्लांट्स इस साल और पिछले साल ऑपरेशन में आए हैं अब उन्हें भी काबिल तजदीद एनर्जी में दे आर नाउ पार्ट ऑफ द रीनबल स्ट्रीम तो ये हमारे पास पाँच जराए हैं हवा सूरज पानी जौहरी और थर का कोयला और ये सब अल्लाह ताला के ख़ास करम से हमारी मिट्टी में मौजूद है हमारे पास वो सलाहियत मौजूद है कि हमें इन्हें इम्पोर्ट नहीं करना और इससे जो पाकिस्तान में ना सिर्फ हमारे जो अदायगियों का तोजुन है और बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट्स विल बी प्रोटेक्टेड बल्कि हमारा माहौल भी बेहतर होगा और इन्वायरमेंट शेल भी प्रोटेक्टेड होगा तो ये दो साथ साथ चलने वाले फ़वाद हैं जो तीसरा फ़ायदा है जिसमें पाकिस्तान की आवाम का सबसे ज़्यादा इंटरेस्ट है वो ये है कि इनके ज़रिए इन आने वाले सालों में बिजली की कीमत कम होना शुरू हो जाएगी क्योंकि ये जो दो प्लांट्स जिनका आज इफ्ता हुआ है इनका टैरिफ भी इस वक्त जो सार्फीन से बिजली की कीमत ली जा रही है उसका आधा है इसका मतलब ये है कि जिस जिस तरह इन विंड पावर बढ़ेगी सोलर पावर बढ़ेगी तो हमारी औसत कीमत जो है बिजली बनाने की वो कम होगी और इन हम पाकिस्तान में रहने वालों के लिए बिजली की कीमत कम करेंगे जो आखिरी बात मुझे करनी है क्योंकि ऑलरेडी हमें कुछ तखीर हुई वो ये है कि खातिन हजरात एक पाकिस्तान में हमें शायद वो नजर ना आए लेकिन एक मुकाबला हो रहा है तामीर करने वालों में और तखरीब करने वालों एक मुकाबला हो रहा है ये विंड टरबाइंस खड़ा करने वालों में और इनको रोकने वालों में सड़कें बिछाने वालों में और सड़कें बंद करने वालों में और आज जब मैं यहां गुल अहमद एनर्जी और मेट्रो विंड पावर के लिए आ रहा था तो मेरा दिल बड़ा हुआ मुझे खुशी हुई कि ऐसे प्रोजेक्ट्स जब इन मुकम्मल होकर माशाल्लाह ये बड़े वैल्यूबल पार्टनर्स हैं जिन्होंने इसमें अपना हिस्सा डाला है ये खबर है ये भी खबर है कि मेट्रो और विंड मेट्रो विंड का और गुल अहमद का अफ्त हो गया लेकिन ये भी खबर इन होगी कि तामीर करने वाले जीतेंगे दिया जलाने वाले जीतेंगे बुझाने वाले नहीं जीतेंगे और चाहे जितना मर्जी शोर हो 
آپ کے ٹیلی ویژن اسکرین پر یا موبائل فونس پر دس سویئر کانٹیسٹ وچ وی آر این آف بٹوین دوز ہو بلڈ اینڈ دوز ہو ڈسٹرائے دوز ہو لے نیو پارٹس اینڈ دوز ہو بلاک دوز پارٹس And as a member of the party of Muhammad Nawaz Sharif, I count myself with great humility before Allah Almighty as one of those who build. And I hope and I pray and I expect that when the time, time comes, The people of Pakistan, whether they are in Sindh or Balochistan or Punjab or Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, they want better lives for their children. They want prosperity for their children. They want to have a sense that this country is going forward. This is what we have lost recently. And this is what I and my colleagues in Shabazz Sharif's leadership hope to rekindle the sense that Pakistan is going forward. The challenge, as I said, is severe. But at least by coming to Metro Wind Power and Gul Ahmed Energy, I can say I have new wind in my sails, ladies and gentlemen. That I can, I can see how we will move forward. So I shall conclude by once again thanking Mr. Danish Iqbal, uh, the chairman of Gul Ahmed Energy, who very kindly escorted me here, uh, the government of Sindh, uh, the National Transmission and Dispatch Company. I think once again, it's uh, uh, the reason I mentioned NTDC is that right after what producing. Uh, so NTDC uh, deserves my thanks for making this possible. Uh, the, it is very rare in Pakistan's system of governance Uh, that different parts of the same scheme come together simultaneously to be able to have a seamless move forward. And that's what we've seen uh, here, uh, that not only, uh, you know, 10 megawatts is being produced, 10 megawatts is being transmitted by Dr. Ran Abdul Jabbar. So that's, that's, it's good news. And I also want to appreciate and thank the partners and employees of both Gulamad Electric and the Metro Wind Power Uh, for their immense contribution. Uh, Mr. Danish Iqbal was very kindly informing me uh, that he uh, has made sure uh, that in many of the jobs that these two facilities are offering, uh, the local residents are and shall be preferred. Danish Sahib, I expect this will continue to be. Uh, that you will also not only employ uh, our brothers and sisters who live around here, but also begin to train their children to be more educated. And one day, maybe we'll see the chief engineer of Gul, Gul Ahmed Energy and Metro Power will be a local resident. Uh, so that, that's what we, we are aiming for, that these uh, things, uh, as we have seen elsewhere, uh, begin to generate uh, their own what economics calls positive externalities. Uh, so these positive externalities will, I hope, will lead to better lives for those who live around uh, these uh, facilities, but also, of course, the energy that these, the clean, green, and renewable energy these two plants are producing uh, are a blessing uh, for whole of the country. We need energy to power our coming economic growth. We need energy to power our coming prosperity. Uh, and inshallah, uh, the government of Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif Uh, is a partner of all the investors and all those uh, who, to use one of my favorite phrases these days from Amalama Iqbal, karenge ahle nazar taza bastiya abad. Yahan aate huye, Gul Ahmed aur Metro ke jab humne wind turbines dekhi hain, ye ek taza basti abad hui hai, khawati mazraat. So, inshallah, یہ تازہ بستیاں جو ہیں یہ پاکستان میں رہنے والوں کے لیے نہ صرف وہ توانائی پیدا کریں گی جس سے ہماری آنے والی خوشحالی انشاءاللہ یقینی ہوگی 
بلکہ یہاں کے رہنے والوں کے لیے سندھ کے لیے بھی خوشحالی اور ترقی کا باعث ہوگی آئی تھینک یو ویری مچ فار یور پیشنٹ لسننگ لیڈیز اینڈ فرینڈ پاکستان پاکستان پانچ دفعہ Thank you, Minister Sir. Uh, now it's my uh, privilege to welcome uh, Ms. Sara Mooney, the British Deputy High Commissioner and the Trade Commissioner for Pakistan. Incidentally, Sara was here at 10.30. She said this is British timing. So she's been around for a while. <laughs> Honorable Minister for Power, Chairman Iqbal, sponsors and partners, honored guests, I am uh, utterly delighted to be here today at the inauguration of the Golamud Metro wind plant. The UK has been a long-standing partner of Pakistan and will always continue to be so. I arrived in Karachi four months ago at the same time that the floods occurred. And just looking at this today, it is ambition and will and collective work like this that set up this plant that will help to mitigate the awful flood consequences of those floods going forward. Partnership between the UK and Pakistan is, as I say, of long-standing. Um, and perhaps one of the most tangible expressions of that partnership is the role played by British Investment International. British Investment International um, categorizes Pakistan as a powerhouse market. This means that all the tools that the British investment arm has are available to use in Pakistan in any of its chosen sectors. BII has committed over $350 million to Pakistan in the last seven years. And over half of this has been in its renewable energy portfolio. BII is supporting wind, hydro, and solar power projects across the country. And many of them are located here in Sindh. The partnership that BII has with Golamit Metro is intense and it's been hard work and I think that all three partners should be congratulated on getting to this place. BII has supported 30% of this project and the ambition is to continue to support. Going forward, BII tell me that they would like to see this platform expanded to 500 megawatts. I think that's an ambition that we can all get behind. And I look forward to being here when that moment happens. So if you could just drop that in your diaries, please. I am told that, um, that a speech like uh, a good biryani should always leave you wanting more. So I, I won't labor this point, but I do want to say my congratulations to the minister to the investors, to the partners, sponsors, to the people that found the land. This is a great scheme. Uh, I, you have my full admiration uh, and congratulations, all of you. Thank you. Jabbar Khan, Managing Director, National Transmission and Dispatch Company, for his address, please. Thank you. Namdu Huwa Nusalli Ala Rasooli Hil Kareem. موسکو اور ایک آج ایسی پرسنالٹی بھی ہمارے سامنے بیٹھی ہے جو مجھے یاد ہے جب میں اس پروجیکٹ کا ایل او ایس اور آئی اے سائن کرتا تھا وہ ہیں ڈائریکٹر ونڈ شراج صاحب میرے سامنے بیٹھے ہوئے یہ پروجیکٹس منسٹر صاحب ان کی ہسٹری میں آپ چونکہ وقت کم ہے ابھی ہم نے وہاں پہ جانا ہے اور پھر آپ کو وہ سسٹم بھی بتانا ہے کہ یہ مسٹ رن پروجیکٹس ہیں ان کی ریلائبلٹی اور سسٹینیبلٹی کے لیے کہ ہمارا کبھی بھی ٹرانسمیشن 
سسٹم میں کوئی کسی قسم کی ڈسٹربنس نہ ہو ہم آپ کو آج انشاءاللہ لائیو لائن وائشنگ اور کلیننگ آف انسولیٹرز بھی دکھائیں گے اس پروجیکٹ کے بعد تو یہ کپل آف یئر بیک جب میں چیف ایگزیکٹیو افیسر اے ڈی بی تھا تو وہاں پہ یہ ونڈ کے پروجیکٹس ان کے پاس سیلو آئیز بھی تھے یہ جگہ بھی تھی اور پیپر ورک ان کا چر رہا تھا تو ان کو جو سب سے زیادہ پریشانی تھی جو بار بار میرے سے کوئیچن ہوتا تھا کہ ڈاکٹر صاحب ہم ونڈ پلانس تو لگا لیں گے ہمارے پاس پانسرشپ بھی ہے ہمیں یہ بتائیں کہ یہ الیکٹران یہ اس کی جو ٹرانسمیشن ہے یہ کیسے ممکن ہوگی تو میں ان کو جو میرے پاس اور کوئی ایسا جواب نہیں تھا اس وقت جو میں ان کو تسلی دیتا تو ایک بات میں ان سے ضرور کرتا تھا کہ میرے پاس ٹو کیپس ہیں آئی ایم سی او ای ڈی بی آن ڈیپوٹیشن اور میری جو پیرنٹ کمپنی ہے وہ انٹی ڈی سی ہے اور میری آپ سے کمیٹمنٹ ہے کہ ہم انشاءاللہ تعالی آپ کی ویکویشن کا بندوبست ہر قیمت پہ کریں گے اور آج آپ اس کے بعد جس پروجیکٹ کا افتتاح کرنے جا رہے ہیں یہ سب کی اطلاع کے لیے ہم نے ریکٹ ٹائم میں انٹی ڈی سی نے اون سورسز سے کمپلیٹ کیا ہے اور اس وقت آپ کے الحمدللہ دس ونڈ پروجیکٹس جن کی کمولیٹیو جو کپیسٹی ہے یہ فائیو ہنڈرڈ پلس میگا وارٹ بنتی ہے ان کی ویکویشن جو ہے نا وہ وہاں سے ہو رہی ہے تو یہ جیسے بھی آپ نے فرمایا کہ یہ صرف پلانٹ کا لگ جانا یا انڈیجنائزیشن کا پرموٹ ہو جانا بھی ایک بڑی پاکستان میں ریویبلز کو پرموٹ کرنا یہ بڑا ضروری ہے لیکن اس کے ساتھ ساتھ یہ جو ٹرانسمیشن کا نیٹ ورک ہے اور اس کے علاوہ اس سسٹم کی ریلائبلٹی کا ہونا بھی بہت ضروری ہے تو آج میں جتنی بھی ٹیم ہے یہ گل احمد اور میٹرو کی ان سب کو مبارک بات پیش کرنا چاہوں گا آن بہاف آف این ٹی ڈی سی کہ ہم نے ایز اے ٹیم کام کیا اور اس کے بعد جتنے بھی یہ وینڈرز سپلائرز اور باقی وہ لوگ اور اس کا جو مین بینیفیشری ہے وہ بھی ہمارے سامنے موجود ہیں وہ بیسیکلی سی او ہیسکو ہیں کہ جن کی ہمیشہ کمپلینٹ ہوتی تھی کہ ہمارے پاس شارٹیج آف سپلائی ہے ہمارے پاس وولٹیج پروفائل وہ نہیں ہے جو ہونا چاہیے ہمارے ٹیکنیکل لاس جو ہیں وہ بہت زیادہ ہیں تو الحمد للہ مجھے اس بات پہ بڑی خوشی ہے کہ سارے اسٹیک ہولڈرس یہاں پہ موجود ہیں اے ڈی بی بھی موجود ہیں ٹی ڈی سی بھی ہیسکو بھی اور وہ لوگ جنہوں نے یہ انویسٹمنٹ کی انویسٹرز بھی اور اوور سیز گیس بھی تو آپ سب کا بہت بہت شکریہ اور میں انشاءاللہ آپ ابھی دیکھیں گے تھوڑی دیر بعد آپ سے ریکویسٹ بھی کروں گا کہ اس کے بعد ادھر آئیں ہمارے ساتھ چلیں اور پھر جو لائیو لائن سسٹم ہے اس کو ضرور دیکھیے گا تاکہ یہ اویئرنیس ہو جیسے ابھی منسٹر صاحب نے کہا کہ یہ ٹوینٹی فرسٹ سینچری ہے تو اس میں وی نیڈ کہ ہاؤ کین وی پرموٹ دا امرجنگ ٹیکنالوجیز ان شاء اللہ تعالیٰ تھینک یو تھینک یو سر مجھے بتایا گیا کہ ٹائم تھوڑا سا کم ہے تو Our final speaker is Mr. Shah Jahan Mirza, CEO of AEDB. Sir. Uh, Federal Minister for Energy, uh, Deputy High Commissioner uh, UK, and uh, MNA from, from local area, MD and TDC. And uh, uh, in fact, I see many faces here, which must be mentioned on this occasion, but in the interest of time. Uh, I, I collectively address them as, as the key stakeholder and partner in development of the renewable and green energy in Pakistan. So as CEO of Alternative Energy Development Board, this is really my, my pleasure and my privilege to congratulate the Golamad Energy, Gol, Golamad energy Metro, Metro Wind and the other stakeholders, which include, of course, the lenders, the, uh, the EPC contractor, the UNM contractor, my own organization, NTDC. So I congratulate all of them and uh, I'd just like to say a few sentences uh, with reference to the Alternative Energy Development Board and what are the plans. I mean, we work as a one-window facilitator, interface of the government of Pakistan with the investor and the lenders and the other stakeholder. So actually, this is our job and this is our, our mandate to deliver the green, clean, renewable energy in Pakistan. 
In this context, what we have seen, the two projects which, which has been inaugurated today, this is the, the part of the 12 projects which achieved the financial closure last year, and they collectively will supply 610 megawatt to the national grid. So uh, I don't think that I need to actually emphasize the importance of the clean and green energy. What I can shortly say that if we just look, just look at the financial numbers, these 110 megawatt two projects, they will save approximately, if we compare them with the, with the uh, most expensive imported coal-based power plant, which we are running today, which cost around 30 rupees, and their tariff is within the, between 10 and 11 rupees. So annually, only these two projects will save us about 7 billion rupees. And if we, if we actually just, just sum them up, the, the 12 projects, these 12 projects will alone save anything between 35 to 40 billion rupees to the Pakistan each year. Apart from the additional benefit, which is our, our government international commitments under SDG 7 roadmap and reduction in the carbon emission, and of course, achieving the government commitment and target of renewable energy, including hydro, of 60% by 2030. Pakistan has immense potential of the solar and hydro resource, uh, solar and wind resources, and uh, I would just say that this is this is just the beginning. Beginning, and on this forum, I'm sure that AEDV and uh, our team will continue working to achieve these targets for for the country and basically bringing in more and more clean and green energy to Pakistan. So in the end, I again congratulate all the stakeholders for this wonderful job and a very short uh, introduction of the Government of Pakistan new initiative, which is on the substitution of expensive imported fuel, which is, which is around, we are targeting 6,000 megawatt just for the substitution of the imported uh, expensive fossil fuels. And we are targeting smaller power plant of around 2,000 megawatt on 11 kV feeders. And another scheme which government uh, has already introduced, we will launch it uh, very soon, that is the uh, public sector building solarization. So with these three initiatives, inshallah, we are sure that if we continue working under the able guidance of our minister and our government, we'll be able to actually exceed the target, inshallah, which have been set by 2031 of 60% of renewable energy. With this, I thank you all the organizers and congratulate all the stakeholders. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Shah Saab. Uh, can I invite Mr. Danish Iqbal, please? Uh, so at this momentous occasion, uh, Mr. Danish Iqbal would... Uh, and Minister Saab, please, aap log agar beech mein aajay yahan pe. So Mr. Danish would present a uh, memento to, to the minister. Uh, press opportunity, photo, photo op, ji, aap log aajay in saamne. Next, we will present a memento to Mr. Shah Jahan Mirza, please. Uh, next, we will present a memento to Dr. Rana Abdul Jabbar of NTDC. And next, we will present a memento to MLA Khail Dasa, please. I'd like to call uh, Mr. Yusuf Habib, please, Country Director, uh, British International Investments, to accept a memento from Mr. Danish. So with this, ladies and gentlemen, we conclude the formal ceremony. Uh, somehow it's the, 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 the partners should also get the mementos. <laughs> Indeed, we missed the boss. So, gee, Ms. Tamina is representing Abacus, our partners. Next, I'd like to invite Mr. Jack Wong from 
Can I, uh, can I request uh, Orient Energy? Janab. 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 Janab.